Lamentations chapter 1 How does the city sit solitary that was full of people? How has she become as a widow, she that was great among the nations and princes among the provinces? How has she become tributary? She weeps greatly in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. She has none to comfort her among all her lovers. While her friends have dealt treacherously with her, they have become her enemies. Judah has gone into exile because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwells among the nations. She finds no rest. All her pursuers overtook her within the straits. The ways of Zion do mourn because none come to the solemn assembly. While her gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she herself is in bitterness. Her adversaries have become the head, her enemies are at ease, for the Lord has afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her young children have gone into captivity before the adversary. And gone is from the daughter of Zion all her splendor. Her princes have become like hearts that find no pasture, and they have gone without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and of her anguish all her treasures that she had from the days of old. Now that her people fall by the hand of the adversary, and none do help her. The adversaries have seen her, they have mocked at her desolations. Jerusalem has grievously sinned, therefore she has become as one unclean. All that honored her despise her, because they have seen her nakedness. She herself also sighs and turns backward. Her filthiness was in her skirts, she was not mindful of her end. Therefore she has come down wonderfully, she has no comforter. Behold, O Lord, my affliction, for the enemy has magnified himself. The adversary has spread out his hand upon all her treasures, for she has seen that the heathen have entered into her sanctuary, concerning whom you did command that they should not enter into your congregation. All her people sigh, they seek bread, they have given their pleasant things for food to refresh the soul. See, O Lord, and behold, how abject I have become. Let it not come unto you all that you that pass by. Behold, and see if there be any pain like unto my pain, which is done unto me, with which the Lord has afflicted me in the days of his fierce anger. From on high has he set fire into my bones, and it prevails against them. He has spread a net for my feet, and has turned me back. He has made me desolate and faint all the day. The yoke of my transgressions is impressed by his hand. They are knit together, they have come up upon my neck. He has made my strength to fail. The Lord has delivered me into their hands, against whom I am not able to stand. The Lord has said at nothing all my mighty men in the midst of me. He has called a solemn assembly against me to crush my young men. The Lord has trodden as in a winepress the virgin, the daughter of Judah. For these things I weep, my eye, my eye runs down with water, because the Comforter is far from me, even he that should refresh my soul. My children are desolate because the enemy has prevailed. Zion spreads forth her hands, there is none to comfort her. The Lord has commanded concerning Jacob that they that are round about him should be his adversaries. Jerusalem is among them as one unclean. The Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against his word. Here I pray you, all you peoples, and behold my pain. My virgins and my young men have gone into captivity. I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and my elders perished in the city while they sought food to refresh their souls. Behold, O Lord, for I am in distress. My inwards burn. My heart is turned within me. For I have grievously rebelled, abroad the sword bereaves, at home there is the like of death. They have heard that I sigh, there is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble, and are glad, for you have done it. You will bring the day that you have proclaimed, and they shall be like unto me. Let all their wickedness come before you, and do unto them as you have done unto me for all my transgressions. For my sighs are many, and my heart is faint.